The rise of China can be understood at many different levels. First and foremost, of course, we are talking about economic rise. And with this economic rise, politically, China is also becoming more confident and assertive, especially on international stage. And not only China is exporting to many countries, Chinese companies and Chinese state are also having increasingly large footprint in a lot of developing countries. So a rising China is also very much a global China. Because of the economic and the geopolitical presence of China, Western liberal states are now compelled to deal with a country with a very different political system, with also a very different value system. Also concepts and frameworks that Western academia used to take for granted have lost their explanatory power. How can a nominally communist party preside over a prosperous capitalist economy? Why are we witnessing technological innovation and advancement in a country where supposedly there is no freedom of speech? These are all complicated questions that defy simple answer. But unfortunately, within the context of escalating geopolitical tension, the first reaction from Western media, Western journalists, including some of the, the, the Western academics, is actually to fall back to the frameworks and to the stereotypes they are most familiar with. If I have to put it in the most blunt way, it's about China being big, bad, scary country. One of the most recent examples is the US ban on the use of TikTok for government employees. There is this dystopian imaginary about Chinese tech companies, that is, when this authoritarian regime is equipped with advanced digital technology, we are going to have an all-seeing, omnipotent Big Brother state surveilling everyone at the global level. From the Western point of view, the rise of China is a challenge to the unipolar world order that had been dominated by the US since the end of the Cold War. What we are seeing now with the West's knee-jerk reaction toward a lot of China-related issues is really a, a replay of that kind of red scare that is this deeply entrenched anti-communist ideology and this, this sense of feeling almost an existential threat because it's a competition between two ways of life. 